I'm going to show you guys how to diagnose and test your door ajar sensors or door sensors here. This is going to be just for one door, but I'm going to show you the wiring diagram and give you the ability to test all your doors. This is a question that I've seen more than a few times on the Facebook pages and the forums. So the first thing you're going to need is this wiring diagram here. I'll see if I can uh, link it down below, but let me go ahead and show you what's going on just in case I cannot link it. Um, this may be hard to see, so I'm going to describe everything to the best of my ability. So this is the wiring diagram for the security system. This is separate from the body control module, but our security system on an excursion or an F-250 is going to work sort of similar. We have door switches here, one, two, three, and four. These are the switches that are in the doors. It's a door level sensor. I'm calling it a switch, but sensor switch, whatever you want to call it. Each one has a common ground and it has its signal wire that's going to uh, close to ground and that's going to trigger the door jar signal. This box right here, where they're all going to, is your theft control VSC um, module. So since I don't know if the details are going to come across in a video, I'm going to go ahead and describe what each one is. So we're going to work on the driver side front door ajar sensor. Below that we have passenger side front, passenger rear, and driver's rear. Like I said, they each share a common ground, which is going to be black on each one. These wires are going to be in your door jam, and I'm going to show you that here in just a minute. Our driver's side is the one that we're going to work on right now, though, and we're looking for a yellow and black. Passenger side is going to be gray with a red stripe. Passenger rear is going to be pink and light blue stripe. Driver rear is going to be light green with a yellow stripe. So all you have to do is find these signal wires, the color wires, and ground them out. So that's going to tell you if you have a wiring issue or if you have an issue with your VSC, which is your security system uh, module. So what you have to do here isn't really too difficult. You're going to pull back the bellows right here. It's easier to pull it back from the body side. You can pull it back from the door side, but usually there's electrical tape there. So pull it back from the body side here. And you're gonna look through all these. Sometimes there will be duplicates. So I'll let you know that ahead of time. But I have found the yellow and black wire. It was easy to find because somebody has put amp steps in this thing and a security system. So it's already been tapped into. To test this out, on any of the doors, all you have to do is get you a jumper wire. We'll hook this side of the alligator clip up to this bolt, which is a good enough ground to test this at least. And we'll take the other side and then we'll touch it to, I use these little T-post needles. This is really what you want to use. This is the best way to do this. I'll put a link to these in the description because this is a very good tool. So we're going to clip this onto here and uh, it'll trigger our door ajar. So that sound you heard was the amp step. I'll go ahead and pull it back and it closes back. So yep, that's what you're going to do pretty much on all four doors. It's going to be the same uh, process no matter which one you're looking at. Like I said, pull that end, the body end of the bellows and find your wires inside there. So. That'll help you diagnose a bad controller or bad wiring. If this works, then um, you probably have just a bad lock sensor in here or a lock switch. So you can go about either replacing that or tracing the wire inside the door. Sometimes that wire can be broken, especially if people have been inside the doors for reasons like speakers and stuff like that. Hopefully that helps you guys out. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Thanks for watching.